absolutely yeah. so one thing i have been interacting with founders here in india talking about their gtm i have interacted with more than 85 of them i have identified that community building though it's more of a human oriented process though it's more of a common sense which i certainly believe because at the end it's a human to human interaction which you are enabling at the end of the day right but still it's least understood mm-hmm. and i have seen that pattern that just focusing on roi and business goals is definitely important if you are building a business but when you talk about community there is certain patience that you have to take care because it's essentially you have to sell to a human so you have right. to get in there it's not a transactional journey it's more of a yeah. taking your space in his life right so what do you think about that yeah it is the right way uh so in my opinion building a community is is not mainstream yet even though everybody talks about it mm. so what i mean by that is it's it's not a default it's still a nice to have it's mm. not a must have mm. so but everybody wants to crave for it everybody has because of someone else is doing it so that's the mm. i think uh, 90% of folks right mm. now in this in, in startups in general mm. they're building communities because someone else is building community so mm. if you think from that standpoint i think uh they want they they will make it transactional they mm. won't make a human connection and number 3 they they'll jump very quickly because mm. they want to chase those kpis or the q2 you know quarterly results that they report you know so that's why if you see there is no community department by default there is no community is no. team by default it it is either under marketing wing or it is reported directly to you know the the founders or the, the basically the ceo mm-hmm. and uh, i think that's the that's a very wrong way to approach building a community at a startup and that's why there exist lot many success stories coming from creators Mm. building communities because there is no hierarchy they do this with intention and and they d- indirectly and directly tie them to the business mm. so it's part of their business it's not a uh, nice to have to their business alongside mm. content creation alongside marketing even though it exists in startups creators have much more much more knowledge and grip of hmm. building a community than founders in my opinion and it, you know it's uh, i feel at this point i kind of gave up fighting for it because hmm. it should come from within it shouldn't it 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 is not something that you force someone hmm. right uh, again if you go back right now creating content on social is is not a must have it's like default it's like breathing air mm. so uh, inculcated into the system mm. go back like i think probably like 20 years mm. before i think you know if the facebook of the facebooks exist if mm. if they then someone is actually creating so- a content for something that's not there yet how would you look at it right so i feel right now we are in that stage we are still early we are still early mm. it's not it's not there yet and i think instead of preaching or educating you basically have to pick a lane and do it like if if you don't want to build a community just don't you know there is no mm. nothing will happen right mm. it's not like something that you lose you will mm. lose but it's not like you're going to die so uh, or your startup is going to die so mm-hmm. in short i think i went on a tangent there but mm-hmm. in short what i what i feel about that is the right way is doing with intention with patience mm-hmm. uh, with passion and mm-hmm. and avoid transactional conversations or mm-hmm. as much as you can but mm-hmm. in do more than ask right 
so that type of mentality should establish when you start a community mm-hmm. but at the same time you know it's not for everyone don't don't start because someone else is starting mm-hmm. it's okay it's okay people there are so many startups like there are billion dollar startups that su- that are surviving without a community so yes. we are not there yet we just have to accept that fact mm-hmm. and it will also ease your mind uh, mm-hmm. as a as someone who believes in that thought Mm. it's okay it's probably not with the emotions from 10 years now down the line probably everything will change just the way mm. social changed the game of mm. building startup community will change as well mm. uh, what one thing we should not stop is mm. if you come from that point of view where you think and believe communities should be built on on an intentional action don't mm. stop you do it by yourself hmm. and if someone asks for a good advice just advise them and move on that's it hmm. so that you should not stop you know hmm. uh, as a believer you should you should continue taking action continue making progress in your own lane hmm. and hope that the road will complete eventually hmm. where everybody has their own lane their own pace move at their own hmm. pace and at their own speed and what not mm. so if you think community building is like a highway mm. you basically have to make your own path mm. because you are a believer for folks who are even listening mm. if you are a believer just you know do things in your own pace mm. and hope that the road will complete have its own lanes and many mm. people are going to join with you in their own lanes going at mm. their own speed uh, but it, it won't happen now for sure i actually kind of gave up on that thought i used to think that this is completely wrong i should preach i should educate mm. uh i actually lost my voice doing so mm. and kind of mm. like took a step back you know it's fine it's not for everybody mm. whoever comes with good intention like you you and i were chatting mm. so i'm happy for today <laughs> mm. if you ask me and uh, i i kind of stopped taking one way uh mm. conversations with people about saying that hey you should do this with this reasons mm. it's not going to work mm. they should they should mm. have some sort of knowledge some sort of intention then it will work yeah. exactly and that is the main reason i started writing let me tell you because after having 80 conversations i was like feeling the same thing that i am explaining the same thing to everyone mm. so i thought okay let's write about it people will understand if they have doubt they will come to me yeah that's it so they will decide on it on their own but True. whatever i know okay let's put it there yeah so again i have read somewhere that uh, people are talking about even the community builders are telling about the future is about micro communities micro mm-hmm. clusters that right now we are a part of a global social network like linkedin everyone is there and then communities are evolving where there are small communities and eventually in future everyone would want to have communities and there would be tools which can enable the, that community building so there would be smaller smaller focus groups like clusters that are there enabling everyone to be the part of one or the other community mm-hmm. do you have any opinion on that yeah so micro communities i've been hearing about uh, i wouldn't call micro i would call sub communities uh, mm. the the way i want to define them is say if you were part of product hunt right mm. it's at this point it's a big community it's like more than 4 million people use on a mm. on a monthly basis it's like very huge mm. if you go to that that scale it's very hard to connect with everybody it's imp- highly impossible mm. so there forms sub communities that's why uh folks who build communities know this very well which is once you are start scaling it again like i mm. said you should build conferences you should open chapters you should open meetups mm. where there will be like a small set of a parent community that's been forming in a very close setting that involves mm. probably like 10 people or less than 10 mm. that that's it not more than that mm. so i feel same thing will apply for online meaning mm. 
the the audience you're building on on linkedin or x or wherever it is that instagram whatever the social platform you're going after or even the email for that sake even substack mm -hmm. you if you have like less folks that you can interact with as a mm -hmm. as a creator or meaning as a builder mm -hmm. you'll be fine but uh, but i think that the healthy community will have a lot of sub communities mm -hmm. it's also mm -hmm. logically make sense because mm. at that point you are not the one who is the creator or a builder there are mm. many people replicate like you like those mm. the sub communities will have their own leaders right there are sub leaders mm. if you want to call it like that way mm. and that's the healthy community in my opinion mm. and sub communities are going to stay forever and take mm. i think take take these uh, you know non relevant non tech examples right Uh, if you go to a church mm. church has like a like an audience of 10000 people or like i don't know like for for just for the sake of the conversation like 1000 people there will be after parties like lunches mm. or maybe like evening hangouts that's sub communities that's like okay there is a set of people in the neighborhood who want to hang mm. out as that mm. big event right so mm. it applies to the same way like tech it needs to be uh again this is all logical for people who understand it and mm. for folks who wants to add revenue and mm. bring people together and build a community mm. they make that doesn't make sense to them like you know mm. they won't i mean i'm not saying they won't empower but they don't see the the sub community uh logic per se so mm. uh, yes mm. i would say yeah you know for sure there will be a lot of sub communities that that are going to evolve mm. 